Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Keep in mind, I am live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night. 8.30 p.m. Standard Time tonight where you can come for the collective reading and ask questions. So let's get into it, Aquarius. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aquarius, off camera, what I got for you, it is not the time for you to stop. It's the time for you to keep going, maybe even overdo it, especially if you're trying to start something new. If it's a new business, a side hustle, if you're trying to get out of debt, if you're trying to get something to a place of sus sustainability or maybe uh, get, get it to a place of autonomy where you don't have to work so hard. Um, you want to get it to a place where it is, whatever it is, it's working, okay? This could be a love relationship. It could be also a, your career and finance. You need to be prudent. So you need to be very precise, sure of where you're putting your time, energy, effort, uh, where your money is going, where your effort is going, okay? Uh, this is a time just for you to do something over and over again. Wash, rinse, repeat wash rinse repeat so over and over again so you can get it that wheel you know a wheel goes over and over again so and it turns you know a wheel turns it moves you and your vehicle on a train uh on a plane when it's taken off you know so you want some you want to be the wheel aquarius so you want to get to a place where something just works okay all right, so let's see what this is all about for the Aquarius. What's going on for Aquarius? One card, how is Aquarius showing up in the reading? How is Aquarius showing? Okay, you have the seven of pentacles, so you need to get to the eight of pentacles. So maybe you could be evaluating something, taking a step back here. Two of cups also, you're not sure if you should give something a chance again. Yeah, that might be inner conflict, or maybe you feel as if, uh, this is uh, competing, competing wills, competing goals. Maybe if you start this thing up again, um, you're not going to, you're going to be divided in your energy. Maybe you may even feel like a lot of people are trying to get your attention right now with the five of wands. You're kind of torn. Aquarius harvest is coming for you abundance is coming for you because you've planted the seeds some of you made great investments in your career in your life span it's something about agreement though before you can actually see the harvest something has to agree or people have to agree but there's a infighting also but you're waiting for this contract you're waiting for people to work together so that there could be release there could be ten of pentacles a large sum of money, a windfall. You just feel like it's a period of waiting for you right now. But the cards say in the waiting, make sure that you are producing the three of pentacles. Yeah, it looks, looks like you guys are gonna come to the king of pentacles type of energy where you're gonna have um, stability. Work, money just works for you. And some of you are gonna do this with a partner. You got the king and queen of pentacles. It's like you're right now, you're building a stable relationship, business, career, nest egg, whatever this may be. The universe wants you to be realistic in your approach to anything. Definitely love, understand that love relationships are work. You don't just get in it and it just works. So you have to put your, you know, time, energy, effort into it. That be the will. Whatever you did to get in the relationship, to find the person, uh, continue to do so. You have no majors on the board. I just looked at them. Yeah, so this is all about your energy, Aquarius. And how you, this card is coming out. Start, start that business because there's a whole lot of money that you can make. And it's a whole lot of money that is coming uh, to some of you, this is, um, I think it's really straightforward right now. Some of you just really getting it, you know, you, you get it in terms of, um, 
what you need to be putting your energy, your effort, your time into. It doesn't need to be um, some of you can feel like you're underpaid at work. Some of you are trying to get rich by gambling or you have Keep in mind, money without a purpose is materialism. So make sure your money has a purpose. Yeah. Some of you are waiting on large sums of money or just resources because it's going to take you out of a place of lack. You always feel like it's a, an uphill battle, a fight. Something is competing with your time. I don't feel like these resonate. Let's see what else we can get from here. I really feel calm and placid. Like, I don't know, maybe that's how some of you guys are feeling. You don't feel like anxiety and on edge, which is a great thing. Sometimes you come into the reading it's like high anxiety or it's like you're, you're in need of something new something real could be friends could just be people you hang around some of you are in a place of an impasse do i fix the marriage or the relationship yes or no i think we talked about it some of you may have been fired from the job or if you have, it's okay. Let's get some advice in here. I think it's okay because it kind of sets you up for something, Aquarius. Some of this same-sex connections. Maybe you even feel like somebody is just a bad decision or going back is a bad decision. Ask your angels, yeah, because like, there's confusion here. You know, if you believe you can have what you want, Aquarius, just let go. And some of you have done that because I feel real calm. Like, you're just like, okay, this is what you should let go. Because abundance is here. It's coming for you. An abundance of love, uh, free time, money, whatever. Just forgive yourself first. Forgive others. Let's see what is going on for Aquarius dealing with each zodiac sign. So we'll go from Aries to Pisces. All right, so Aquarius dealing with Aries. Ten of Cups. So it could actually work. You know, it's about you guys performing well together. It's like the universe is putting you guys in a place where, it, you know, it's saying the stage is set for happiness with the Ten of Cups here. It also says there could be... Um, I always forget the word used there in the Ten of Cups. Like maybe if there was difficult times within the relationship with an Aries, it can actually, um, it'll be, um, you know, a truce, a truce made there. You know, you're just going to call a truce, maybe even forgiveness. All right, let's see. Aquarius dealing with Taurus. Aquarius with Taurus. Aquarius with Taurus. Aquarius with Taurus. The Wheel of Fortune, very nice. So, Wheel of Change. You always see something changing like you were involved in something with this person for a certain amount of time you could be changing your mind maybe for the good or for the bad i don't know um but something is changing here maybe with the masculine energy or maybe how you look at them the psychic abilities could be heightened for you or someone around you it's like a you know um with the taurus energy especially if you have taurus in your north node maybe you're going to get a change of um group of people that you hang around uh, yeah you, you're gonna be invited into new groups uh, new social setting um, with Taurus it looks like um, something is definitely transitioning at one point maybe you could have felt like this person was the one or is the one but I don't know something's shifting here it could be going for the good or the bad there Let's see what's going on for Aquarius dealing with Gemini. All right, two of cups. All right, so um, maybe you guys are going to forgive each other. Uh, you know, just let bygones be bygones. Understand that um, it happened. Let's move past it. 
you know, it's best for us to be together than apart. At this present time, I'm seeking a one-on-one -on -one relationship. You know, this could happen around, you know, maybe the summer time. Um, there's a, a high platonic, like a level to the relationship. Like you, it's a friendship too. The, the two of you feel like the relationship is mutually beneficial. You don't feel like you're losing anything or that you're settling. This is how somebody feels about you or vice versa, or it's mutual. All right, so let's see. Aquarius dealing with cancer. Aqua okay. Judgment. Justice in the Four of Cups. All right, so somebody needs time to think this over. Uh, someone could be kind of internalizing their feelings a bit much to where they're missing out on the opportunity. They're missing out on the blessing that is maybe this relationship, this person this opportunity to maybe even forgive, relinquish, release, absolve the person of all of the stuff that they've done, all the wrongdoing. It's like somebody wants to apologize or make amends or they feel karmically indebted to you anyhow. Like they feel like, okay, I, I need to um, apologize. You know, I need to do something. I need to give. Something about balance also. Somebody feels like they need to balance out their emotions. They need to take a t some time to meditate on this. So that's what's going on for you in Cancer. Let's see. Aquarius and Leo. Aquarius and Leo. Aquarius and Leo. Ace of, of energy. Ace of wands. Okay. Um, so it looks like you, maybe there's a new start here. And it's you guys doing something. Traveling, having sex, taking a walk, taking a hike. But it's actually movement, it's um, energy. Maybe you put in a lot of energy into the new start, um, the restart, the reboot. Make sure that there is progression behind the Ace of Wands here. It's like somebody wants to do something with you, either the Leo or vice versa. Uh, then it's not a whole lot of um, thought process and emotions, but it's just more so like, let's just do it, whatever it is. So. Somebody's up for the challenge. Maybe they feel like they, they know it's going to be a challenge to get you to be on board. And they also go feel like there's other people in the ring. So they're throwing their hat in the ring. Like, you know, I'm up for it. This is how you feel about the Leo or how they feel about you. Uh, it's a real carefree energy. You know, it's almost like a toss up. All right, let's see. Aquarius dealing with Virgo. Aquarius dealing with Virgo. Well, these cards are popular. Okay, so Seven of Swords in the Page of Wands. So there could be like a sneaky link here. Like a sneaky hookup or somebody hooks up or someone wants to hook up with you. Someone wants to explore with you. Um, maybe somebody's taking the, the chip off of their shoulder and now they're, they have a renewed sense of themselves, of their mind. Maybe they want to engage with you by, um, you know, a sexual escapade. Like, let's get together and let's have some fun. But there's like a deceptive vibe behind it or maybe there's like a lone wolf behind, you know, energy behind it. Like, yeah, let's hang out, let's hook up, let's have fun. But if you're expecting more than that, then, you know, you're not going to really get it because I'm not looking for that. Yeah, somebody's really, you know, desiring to hook up here. Either you, Aquarius, or, um, or the Virgo. You also feel like maybe a Virgo is cheating. There's like a sneak, something being sneaky here. When they, when they leave, when they travel, when they explore, when they do something that you feel like there's an air of deception. They're keeping something from you. They're trying very hard not to get caught. All right. Let's see. Aquarius dealing with uh, Libra. Aquarius with Libra. Isn't that wonderful. Eight of Pentacles. So maybe you guys are starting over. Two of Swords. That's the Libra card. Um, there could be. So it says um, if you are starting over, if you put in more energy in, into the relationship, um, doing this over again, um, maybe not being sure of where it's going to go, uh, make sure that I'm. There's cooperation. You guys are on the same page, okay? Um, it might be best just to not make a decision right now. Come back to it. Um, get busy. 
showing that this can work, showing and approving to yourself and maybe the other person that this is worth worth the work, worth the effort, worth the time. Okay? Because somebody is still at a place of being guarded and I'm not making a decision on you or vice versa. All right, so Aquarius dealing with Scorpio. Aquarius dealing with Scorpio. Uh, two of Wands. So there's some planning here. Maybe this person is planning to come towards you or vice versa. They're planning to, um, I don't know. It's like they maybe leave one position and, and come to you. But they still, I'm not sure if they made a decision on you. And some of you feel like maybe if you decide on this person, you're not sure if it's going to be karmic or toxic or drama field you're just not sure it says in the two of wands there is a decision that needs to be made um be careful of the the two options or yeah the two options you have because you could go down that karmic path here it says the grass is greener on the other side and maybe somebody's feeling that way or maybe somebody left you and they they thought the grass was greener on the other side but they're finding that it's not Somebody also could be looking at you as if they, they're planning to come towards you to make something more solid, more stable, be more reliable. And they have to kind of talk themselves into it and, and say the grass is greener on the other side, maybe on the other side of being committed, being in a commitment. Somebody could be changing their mind, their position about a relationship or about you. All right. If this person has two options, it's like, it's going to get to a place, especially maybe around the springtime, I don't know, uh, where somebody's going to have to make a decision because these options are in opposition. So it's like they're fighting against one another. Like you can't hold the two because one is going to overpower the other. other. Um, it's like uh, if you have two people, it's, what, what's the saying? You, you can't um, have two masters, your love one and hate the other or something like that that's opposition you know it's like you can't have two girlfriends or two boyfriends you're going to there that's a direct opposition like you're going to have to choose you know you're gonna have to make a decision eventually so maybe that's how uh, scorpio feels about you or vice versa all right so let's see aquarius dealing with sag aquarius dealing with sagittarius aquarius dealing with sagittarius the sun card so it's illumination, either for you or the other person. Somebody is really thinking fondly about you. You know, maybe you guys are having a baby, you had a baby, or you had children, or you have children. I don't know. You know, it's like somebody is seeing the light, or something is illuminated about you. Maybe, yeah, they want you back, because there's an energy of you guys not being together. Okay? This person could be feeling all of this in separation. You know, maybe they could even be trying to pull you or draw you in. Uh, you could have grown up with this person or you know not even like elementary but maybe you came into early adulthood with this person maybe you were in a relationship in your late teens 18 19 whatever and you kind of grew up with the person this person is thinking about happier times maybe may, this person might even want marriage with you or something with you they just want to get back to happy joy peace oh they also thinking about how you make them feel this could be you also Aquarius let's see um, Aquarius dealing with Capricorn Aquarius still in Capricorn base of swords so um, without all of this the distractions someone has come to realization you know that they maybe have to make some irrevocable change they're gonna have to really get serious about cutting something off or out you know um, it could be something that hinders the relationship from moving forward from having progression like you always find yourselves back here um, in the distraction maybe someone has realized that you are the one or vice versa you realize that someone is the one here someone had gone on you know had checked out left the relationship either you or another person now they're they're coming to some realization with the ace of swords they're seeing the truth of the matter maybe they couldn't see it through all of the fogginess the clouds everybody everybody's different opinion or all this different energy but it says with the ace of swords uh, without the distractions you see the truth 
Could be you, Aquarius. Could be the other person. Let's see. Aquarius dealing with Aquarius. Aquarius dealing with Aquarius. Ten of Wands. All right, so the relationship has been without form in terms of could be without maybe title and without form in terms of not knowing where you're going you're just engaging with one another um no real intentions the ten of wands the wands cards are about action movement energy right doing stuff and in this life the universe, God's spirit, whatever you believe in, wants us to be intentional in everything we do. Everything we do. Everything we do. When you do not have intentions for everything you do, jump into a relationship, no intentions. A lot of times, this is the karma that we create for ourselves because you didn't have any intention of where it was going, what you were doing, or why you were in it, what you were offering, what the other person was. It wasn't, you know, there was nothing set you just started doing something and that's when it becomes taxing burdensome drama filled uh maybe toxic unhealthy can you imagine just striking out like literally walking out of your front door and just walking just walking just keep walking just walk just keep walking where are you going what are you doing when do you stop walking or when you get to the place you're walking to oh you don't know where you're going so and that is how a lot of people are engaging with one another and that's why they we get all this yelling of oh toxic toxic drama karma we have no intentions this is what you get so maybe with you and aquarius there was nothing set and then you get to the ten of wands where you get tired of just walking with nowhere, you know, with um, no real set destination. And that's what the ten of wands is, the drama that we create for ourselves, excuse me, the karma that we create for ourselves, the drama too, right? So maybe you and this person, you and the Aquarius didn't have anything set here, so it became burdensome. You just became kind of like on autopilot, just doing it and really not knowing where you're gonna end up just hanging in there just continuously showing up to the relationship i don't know if we're getting married i don't know if we're together i don't know you know it's, uh, yeah um somebody could be releasing it also with the ten of wands um they feel like it's just somebody could feel you could even feel the ten of wands talks about feeling taken for granted i guess you would if you don't know if you didn't have any intention so that's for the Aquarius and Aquarius reading. I guess you guys needed to hear that. Anyway, last but not least, Aquarius and Pisces. Aquarius and Pisces. Aquarius and Pisces. The Empress. Very nice. So maybe there'll be a new start if somebody wants it. The Empress card is an archetype. So it's not necessarily real. You know, but it is an energy that maybe surrounds the connection. Maybe you guys want to restart again. You know, um, somebody's open to it because the Empress is open, abundant, nurturing, giving, fun, beautiful, you know, all of, all things great, all things feminine. So it's like, um, maybe there's a feminine energy, it could be the Piscean, could be the Aquarius, um, who's open to this. Uh, Pisces is a feminine energy. Aquarius is a masculine one. So it could be the Piscean person. Yeah, somebody is desiring to uh, start this up again. All right. Someone could even try to take the lead here. Yeah, to bring about some opportunity for you guys to come back together. Because someone's thinking about you intensely over and over, but they're holding this to themselves. This could even be trying like like some some kitty magic not like like full on um, magic ball stew and pot magic type stuff nothing nothing like that but it's like you know if I continuously think about this person if I continuously put them on my mind if I look at pictures if I do this if I do that then you know maybe I can you know kind of manifest them back or talk about them or be around people who know them you know so it's like that 
type of magic where somebody could be trying to bring you back into their energy. Could be you, could be the other person, Piscean person. Yeah, but somebody's trying to bring you back. This is what I have for you, Aquarius. I love your energy. It's very placid. You know, sometimes that's a good thing. You just need to take a step back. Um, you're calm, you know, for a lot of you. I don't know. It, it, and sometimes calmness can come out of realization. Like you realize some stuff. Like, so once you realize it, what can you do with it? But rest in the realization. So you're no longer antsy. You're no longer having the anxiety or up in arms about it or overthinking it. You're just kind of like, you know, it is what it is right now. Now, will that energy last? Will the calm and the placid energy last? I hope, Aquarius. But anyhow, if you find yourself needing your own personal reading, go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by, I've got to get the phone number fixed, okay? Um, our business line is, something's going on, it's funky. Anyway, um, you can always uh, go over to the website and ask one question too. The one question is uh, over on the website level. So you can do that that way. Um, catch me live again, Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, tonight, Sunday night, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come for the collective reading, ask questions. Um, thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you.